everyone, it's Sunday, it's the day of the Cop Doc show, and I'm out and about in sunny Suffolk, it was bloody cold earlier, and on the way, I'm doing the usual, I'm doing a few churches on the way, and I come across this one, St Mary's Kettlebaston, now it's in Suffolk Andy country, I've just been in taking pictures, and I've got me sat now ready to go to the next one. I don't know what the time is, off the top of my head. It's about 11 o'clock. Now inside here, it quite surprised me. It's uh, very tidy. But <clears throat> obviously you've got to use old style font with a lid. But when you turn around, Fantastic. Cheers. All the crosses in. All the, what's it, hassocks hanging. All nicely lined up. But it's the, uh, the paintwork. The little depictions of characters and things. That makes it rather special in my mind. I was quite taken aback, they've even got the brasses out, they've not put nothing away. Even your lectern's painted up, or oh, that one is. Pulled bit of ground level. An old gate. I don't think I'll fit up that stairway, nor would Andy come to that. <laughs> but it only comes out up there anyway. But uh, yeah, I was quite taken aback. What a delicate. Oh, intricate paintwork here, that, on the panelling. So the characters. Metal gates with cobwebs complete as well. <laughs> Tiny little organ. The old style chair. And the altar is uh, quite nice. Quite nice indeed. Nice old rug. Yeah, look, all the old silverware's out so we can uh, put it in for the old scrap. Beautiful. I thought I've got to do a video and uh, tell young Andrew to, uh, if you haven't been to this one, or well, have a look on this video and see what you think first. All the carving, the woodwork up here. And more cobwebs. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, I wasn't going to do many interiors today because of time, because I'm getting to the cop top show, but I suppose everyone will get there that early. Yeah, you can pump your organ up. <laughs> but uh, no, I thought I'd do a couple of insides, and I was. Oh, I'm glad I come inside this one, actually. It's uh, rather nice. Rather nice. I don't know what you think about it, but anyway. I was quite taken aback. The little faces there, and the beams. <laughs> on everyone. Sometimes they have, oh, he's got his tongue out. Wait, stop that, cheeky boy. To honour the memory of the men of Kettlebaston who gave their lives in the First World War and of the men of the 447th United States Air Force crew who died in an air accident above airfields in 1944. May you rest in peace. Where you go? Oh, the interior of his church was repainted, cleaned and redecorated by skill and labour of David Francis, a parishioner of Kettlebaston. In 2010. Well done, David Francis. <laughs> what a lovely little job you made of it, sir. Well done. All right, I'll catch you later. Bye for now. Well, to say there's a few at Cop Doc would be a bit of an understatement. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother going in. It's it's 20 to three. I've seen a lot of bikes going home. And I thought, well, you never know, I'll just have a look. 
look around, show you the sights. I've not seen anyone I recognise. <laughs> but it's, I didn't have dinner yet. It's just crazy, isn't it? Just one or two bikes. <laughs> if I could see anyone on the road, I'd stop. But I might go and know about six people here. So it's barely worth the effort, is it? You can probably, probably get in here without pain now, I'd hope. Definitely a few around. <laughs> Just don't run into these people. Yellow Honda would be good to spot, but ain't gonna happen, is it? <laughs> hey. There's just a few about. Yeah, flavour. I wasn't gonna bother, I put in home on the sat nav it's sending me up this way anyway from when I filled out petrol and I thought well, it'd be rude not to just pop in wouldn't it <laughs> and it sent me back down the road and I thinking oh, I, wasn't, I thought it was the way home and this is just truck cars trying to get out <laughs> not many bikes that's where I filled up over there at Sainsbury's. Come on, cockers, let's have a go. Just such a bunch of pussies. Around the front, let's have a go. Now I'm going to get home about 4 o'clock, which ain't bad, hour and 20 odd minutes. <laughs> I've got to stop and have lunch yet. <laughs> Okay then, so that's lunch over with. <laughs> stuck at the side of the A12, isn't it? Well, not stuck. I just pulled over. I had to pull over. Uh, I was trying to find somewhere better to eat, but I thought, oh, junction's back there and I've already passed it.